14, 13 and 12 really should be no problem at all uh, to install. So we're going to follow much the same sequences that we have and you'll find that this will go much quicker than the last few videos. Once we understand our joint plan we can apply the first piece on and that's relatively straightforward. The space at the stern and at the bow is exactly 20 inches. Therefore we divide this space by the number of streaks and that will give us the size of the individual streaks. In the case of the stern, there are six streaks that have to fit in the space. In the case of the bow, there will only be five. If we look at the stern, 14, 13 and 12 all simply taper down to the stern. At the bow, the plan is to reduce the number of streaks by putting in a join that's roughly about seven feet from, from the bow itself. Therefore, at the bow, the streaks will be four inches wide. While at the stern, there are six pieces, so they will be three and a quarter inches wide. To work out the length, we simply put a bendy piece inside, up against the inside, and mark it at the join. And that gives us a rough idea of the length which turns out to be exactly this piece. So dealing with the stern we're going to taper um, this plank which is in fact two planks it'll get cut at a later point in time. Because we have six pieces coming to the stern um, it means that at the at the stern at can frame number one each of these pieces should be uh, roughly three and a quarter inch um, right at can piece number one. Now we mark where the next joint goes and we use our 24 foot and it's on the center of this joint here and we make sure that the, the joint line or the cut is going to line up perfectly with the frame so it will not be at 90 degrees to the side of the um, of the plank. Then I use the line on the saw and I line up the line on the plank and you tend to find that this will line up perfectly if we've got it right. right in the center and then the other piece that we've cut off will also join perfectly back with that one and then all we need to do is trim the end off. One of the things I'm finding with the blow dryer is in fact because there's moisture in the wood um, when there's a slight bend I actually don't have to um, soak the plank um, there's enough moisture and heat that when I put the blow dryer on, it actually takes the shape that I'm trying to get it to. I tried to bend this piece in shape, but the truth is it just wasn't coming out and it was starting to kink. So I went back to Old Faithful and drew it onto a piece of 3 inch flat and um, that's what it's going to look like and fit absolutely perfectly inside there. And we're still getting a little bit of that letdown that was re um, suggested in the book from 4 inches on 15 down to 3 inches on 14. Another little tip that I'm passing on is that I use a paintbrush to apply the glue and of course it gets hard. So the simplest way to solve that problem is to put it in some isopropyl alcohol, some rubbing alcohol, 
Leave it for about 20 minutes and then you can clean all that glue off and it'll become just like new. 14 is now complete and we are going to install 13. First piece of number 13 put in in the center. We're on to the last piece 12 and of course the last piece is going to be the one that gives us the most difficulty. Um, I had taken some measurements of these curves before you may remember. It's just a matter of trial and error bit by bit trying to get it to fit perfectly. And so we're almost there. I would say another half an hour and we would have made a template that works. Clamping is getting much more challenging now. These clamps will no longer work, they simply can't get up. But we can use shims and it's actually quite easy and the my other clamps are still working. This one I had to modify slightly so it is pressing on both this plank and this plank together. The last challenge we'll have is that it's getting, the space is getting fairly tight. So we're going to thin that down. Um, but there, it will come a point in time where we'll have to put a special um, join similar to the front to deal with this. Took a week off of modeling and went up to New York to visit my daughter and of course that was a golden opportunity to buy some tools to outfit the shop for the little things that are missing. So here's a quick rundown. First of all, I had ordered some knurl ends uh, that Greg had suggested for my height adjustment tool and those have installed and of course I have quite a few left over. I dropped my, uh, cali my veneer caliper, digital one. Um, they don't they don't do well when you drop that and so I've got a nice brand new one this um, divider is a real professional divider um, costs a lot of money I'm not even going to tell you what it cost but it's a absolutely super tool and I don't think I'll ever want for more um, I splurged a bit these are some stainless steel um, brasses that I found um, I'm not sure whether I'll ever use them at $45 it really was a toss-up and then this stainless steel file um, hopefully it will last its price tag uh, a nice new store you can never have enough of them some new millens um, this is a 4mm and a 6mm millen um, 
perhaps the fine was this tiny little square which um, has two different types of inserts you could put on it. It's a metric. Perhaps the only thing that won't help me with this imperial model that I'm working on now. Um, and then a wonderful switch for turning my vacuum cleaner on and off automatically and that really is probably the best thing I've bought. Twelve is now complete, and um, it went relatively well. There's one area at the back where both sets of planks came very close to one another. I'm not co too concerned about it because um, it's it's all going to be covered up. But I will go back and take a look and see where I made the error, um, probably in making the boards slightly bigger than than they should have been and that cumulative error brought the two sets of planks um, together. As can be seen, um, it's really coming along quite nicely. Um, the bow, which was one of the more problematic areas, um, really came as per plan. It's really just here at the back um, where, the, where the planks got really very close to one another. Just some more clean up and once I'm happy with the finish I'll put on some wipe on poly to seal um, and we'll go from there. So I will see you in the next video.